Welcome to the video tutorial for installing the Sun 2000 8K 10K LC0 series. This tutorial demonstrates how to install the inverter hardware and connect cables. Unpack the inverter and check that the items in the package are complete and intact. Determine an appropriate installation position that can sustain the weight of the inverter and meet the clearance requirements. The inverter can be mounted on a wall or a support. This video uses support mounting as an example. Mark mounting holes using the marking off template. Secure the mounting bracket using bolts. Lift the inverter and install it properly in the mounting bracket. Tighten screws to secure the inverter. The installation is complete. Before you start, get familiar with the wiring areas of the inverter. The inverter can be used in the EMMA, Smart Dongle, and Smart Card networking scenarios. In the EMMA networking scenario, connect DC power cables from the inverter to PV modules and batteries. Connect signal cables to devices such as batteries and the EMMA. Connect the AC power cable to the home power distribution box and the EMMA. In the Smart Dongle networking scenario, insert the Smart Dongle to the inverter. Connect DC power cables from the inverter to PV modules and batteries. Connect signal cables to devices such as batteries and the power meter. Connect the AC power cable to the home distribution box. In the Smart Card networking scenario, connect DC power cables from the inverter to PV modules and batteries. Connect signal cables to devices such as batteries and the Smart Card. Connect the AC power cable to the Smart Card. Before connecting cables, ensure that the DC switch on the inverter and all switches connected to the inverter are off. Prepare a PE cable. Prepare an AC power cable. Insert the wires correctly into the AC port on the inverter. Tighten the wires using the delivered wrench. Connect the AC power cable connector to the AC port on the inverter. Fasten the buckle, tighten the cable cap and tighten the screw. Select an appropriate AC switch in accordance with local industry standards and regulations. Prepare DC terminals and battery terminals. Prepare positive and negative DC terminals in sequence as required. Use a multimeter to measure the voltage and ensure that the polarities are correct. Connect DC power cables. Connect battery cables. Prepare battery terminals in the same method as that for DC terminals. Install the smart dongle. The following uses the 4G smart dongle as an example. In the FE communication scenario, install the WLAN FE smart dongle. Insert the SIM card and check that the snap fits on both sides are secured. Install the smart dongle on the inverter. And secure it using the anti-theft component. Prepare signal cables. Disassemble the signal cable connector. Route the signal cables through the locking cap in the waterproof rubber plug-in sequence. Insert the wires into the corresponding pins of the terminal and secure the wires. 
Insert the signal cable terminal into the COM port. Connect the signal cable connector to the COM port. Fasten the buckle and tighten the locking cap. When both the inverter and Emma are connected, crimp the two signal wires to be inserted into pin 1 and the two signal wires to be inserted into pin 2, respectively. When both the power meter and batteries are connected, crimp the two signal wires to be inserted into pin 3 and the two signal wires to be inserted into pin 4, respectively. When both the smart guard and batteries are connected, crimp the two signal wires to be inserted into pin 5. The antenna needs to be installed when the inverter is directly connected to the NMS. Power on the system.